Imagine being such a miserable person that when you see this man enjoying his life with his pet squirrel, you know, making Instagram videos, you think, hmm, that squirrel needs to die. Well, that's exactly what happened, and they do know the name of the person who made the complaint. I'm not going to share that name here because I don't want to condone any kind of harassment, but it is out there and it is known. This is the story of the internet's most famous squirrel since that one who drove around on water skis. Remember that little guy? This is Peanut the Squirrel, and he became an internet sensation after he was rescued by Mark Longo seven years ago after Peanut's mother was run over by a car. Peanut was known for wearing cute little hats and eating waffles, and you can tell Mark loved of this squirrel. The videos are very cute and I understand why this squirrel got so popular. You see it all the time, you know when someone gets really popular for a viral video and they use that popularity to just grift and exploit their audience for a quick buck and then they get exposed as like really horrible people? Well, this was the opposite of that. They use their popularity to make an animal sanctuary which makes this whole story even sadder as they were so undeserving of what ended up happening to them and Peanut the Squirrel. The sanctuary housed over 300 different animals from horses to other types of livestock. And a lot of the funding came from their social media accounts featuring Peanut the Squirrel. So Peanut was really a hero to a lot of these animals. I wish people would just once in a while, you know, mind their own goddamn business. Because all it took was for one person who had a problem with this domesticated squirrel for some reason and called the authorities to try to get this squirrel taken away out of a made up fear for health concerns. Now I totally understand that wild animals can carry rabies and it is a real problem out there, but the squirrel had been living in this house for seven years at this point. There was like zero chance of this thing carrying rabies. It's about as likely to be carrying it as any household pet at this point, like your cat or bird or whatever you have. Rabies doesn't just hibernate for seven years just to pop up later and turn the animal rabid. It's not like that. So this person I won't name called the authorities and then the New York Department of Environmental Conservation showed up at his house on October 30th, 2024. These asshats rolled up like SEAL Team 6 on the hunt for Bin Laden. They raided this house for approximately five hours, according to Mark, and they were absolutely horrible to them the whole time. They were like opening up drawers, trashing the whole place, just to confiscate a couple animals. According to Mark, they wouldn't even let him go to the bathroom unaccompanied. Apparently during the search, Peanut bit one of the officers on the hand, but what I'm confused confused about is why aren't these animal control people not wearing gloves like it kind of just seems like you should be wearing them by default in this job especially if you're looking for something you suspect to have rabies or someone complained that it could have rabies not that they had any real suspicion but if it's your job to look for dangerous animals you think you'd be wearing them just seems a little weird to me and a little suspicious they also took into custody Fred, the adorable little raccoon, who apparently was the original target of the search warrant. Peanut ended up just being collateral damage. Like, Peanut is truly ride or die. Like, he was willing to go down like Tony Montana at the end of Scarface just to save Fred. But sadly, just like Scarface, this was no happy ending. They took Pina and Fred and put them both down in order to get a rabies test done on them. The most definitive rabies test is performed on animals that are deceased. Now, I am an animal lover and I can't imagine how sad they must feel for having these animals put down. You see how devastated they are in this video. Just completely bawling. And I see comments from people like, oh, it's just a squirrel. Who cares? Like, get over it. But like, it shouldn't matter what the animal is. Like, everyone has their own preferred animal of choice like I love cats and dogs that's pretty normal uh but people like you know birds guinea pigs hamsters like but whatever I'm not gonna judge if that's what you love that's what you love and I feel really bad that this squirrel got put down like people even love fish you know have emotional connections to fish I'm not gonna judge or spiders and like insects like I know there are people who are like obsessed with spiders and will cry when their spider dies and I don't get it but you do you you know this whole situation just had to really hurt. I do feel really sad for the people and all the people who like to watch this animal on social media. It, it is really sad. These people truly seem like they cared about animals and they obviously weren't putting anyone or any creature in harm's way. They really just wanted to help and they were doing a lot of good with that organization. So it's really sad to see it go down this way. I know laws are laws, but sometimes I feel like they just need to be applied in a better way. This clearly wasn't a situation of abuse of an animal, so they shouldn't treat them like criminals. Mark even said that they were trying to get Peanut legally authorized to live in a home under some sort of law that allows Peanut to be kept as an educational animal. So it seems like he was trying to do the right thing 
According to him anyways, I can't confirm that. It just seems like such a waste of resources. It was not that big of a problem. Like when I had squirrels living in my attic because they found a hole in the side of the house, you think the government, you know, rolled up to help me? Like those, those kind of had rabies, but no, no, of course not. But for this one squirrel, they rolled out like a Russian hit squad trying to take out John Wick. Like make that make sense. I don't want to encourage violence on anyone like I mentioned earlier, that's why I'm not bringing up the name, but I hope she stubs her toe every single morning for the rest of her life. Just, you know, just bad enough to cause pain for the rest of the day, just to have it stubbed again the next morning. That, that would make me feel a lot better here. And I'm not the only one who's pissed. I've seen a couple videos on TikTok of people like ready to roll up on this woman. <laughs> And apparently people are going after her already, so I don't need to do anything. She has a business that's being completely bombarded by negative reviews and receiving a lot of hate, so I don't need to pile onto that. It seems like the internet is doing what the internet does. Crazy world we live in where this lady basically swatted a squirrel and it ended up in the worst possible outcome a situation like this can end in. Next thing you know, this lady's gonna get Mudang put down for biting people. That's just what Mudang does, leave her alone. RIP Peanut, the internet will always remember you. And I hope the Peanut Animal Sanctuary lives long and prospers. If there's one small silver lining to this, it actually brought a lot of attention to this cause. So I hope they're getting a lot of donations and can help many more animals in the future. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Maddie. If you like the video, leave a like, consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time.